What I will say is that we will always do what is necessary uh, to protect people. And uh, we're, we, we are guided by the clinical judgments, by the science. In this, we've got to do everything we can to prevent it from reaching these shores and to tackle it. Uh, and um, the, you know, the measures that the chief medical officer will set out later are part of that. Uh, but so too are the measures that we're taking, uh, for instance, to ensure that we don't directly uh, bring cases back to this country, uh, where there's a big spike in cases. Uh, for instance, as we saw in Spain, we keep those quarantine, uh, uh, those quarantine rules under review all of the time. Uh, and we'll be, we're taking action, and we will take action if it is needed to keep this country safe. So absolutely, on a, on a second wave, it is something that I, I, I worry about, and I worry about it. That is something on which uh, we're doing some work, but we will only come forward with a proposal uh, when, it is, uh, when, when we are confident that it is, uh, it is safe to do so. So again, this is a very much guided by the clinical science, um, and the CMO will be speaking on it later today. Uh, but the broader point is that I, I, there is a serious concern about a second wave that's clearly now uh, moving across Europe, and we need to take action, uh, and action to protect this country and protect everybody in it. Uh, and if that means increasing the number of days that people who tested positive have to self-isolate, then so be it. Uh, because these measures are necessary to keep